pool, and a suntan. Super excellent. Let's stay here then. Hey guys, Kylie here coming to you from the Australian premiere of Wish You Were Here. This film is a dramatic thriller set in Cambodia and it stars two of Australia's hottest acting talents right now, Joel Edgerton and Teresa Palmer. I'm curious to know, where did the idea first kind of come from for this story, this amazing script of yours? Uh, I kind of, I wasn't very interested in exploring the, the kind of, the, I kind of call it Generation X has grown up and sort of suddenly having children, and which a lot of our friends were doing at the time that we, we started writing the film. There was a story that I'd heard through friends of friends of friends of friends, but it was about Two couples that had gone travelling in Southeast Asia, and one of the, the the well, one of the guys in that party of four had gone missing. I don't believe that person was ever found, and so I had just heard of this story. And I was intrigued by what that the gap that that leaves in people's lives when someone goes missing, and I wanted to kind of amp up the responsibility in my story that I was then writing of. of you know what the other three had been doing on that night of the, the disappearance of that person and what could they have done differently and who knows what and what what secrets were there around that night so that was the story I embarked on writing. Felicity and I co-wrote it she stars in the movie um, I directed it we, we did the whole thing together we gave birth to two children through the whole process of it and uh, and so there's been this whole massive shift in our landscape and the movie has been a massive element of that so there's been a lot of good luck and good karma with this project and um, here we are and it, look you know the response has been everything we ever hoped for and I just I feel very grateful and happy. <laughs> Kieran is a good mate of yours this is his first feature film it must yeah. have been a real pleasure for you to be involved in that project with him then. Yeah but you know at the same time I wasn't just going to jump into the project just because he's one of my best mates in fact I was probably a little bit more kind of careful about my decision to do that uh, because of our relationship but um, I did know that he'd written a great script because I could read that and, I, and that was there was proof in that but also I had re a really good suspicion that once he got behind the camera he would make a great film and, and he proved that yeah so it wasn't a hard thing to get involved in at all I had to kind of talk him into it because he, he figured I wasn't going to be into it I thought he was going to hire someone else and then I'd be really pissed off tonight. The good thing about Jolly is, you know, he, he was always going to trust me and, um, you know, we, we, we went to drama school together and we, we know each other very, very well and, um, and to have the trust of him and also my wife who, who knew I wasn't going to let anything false get, a, you know, get through, you know, I was always, I, and she knew that and so she trusted me as well and trust is all you ever want from your cast as a director, it's, it's a gift, you know. Um, and so it was great working with him and I'd, I'd, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. He's magnificent. I mean, he's the real deal. The guy's amazing. Why are you here? It is absolutely lovely to see you in an Australian film once again. Oh, what was it about you. this project that made you want to take part? Oh, look, it was just, the script was so solid. It was amazing. Um, it was, you know, this character that I've never played before. Steph, she's essentially the antagonist and she makes a lot of bad decisions and she's a little bit irresponsible, but she's just kind of having fun and she's lost. And I really like the idea that she's real. I mean, she is very much grounded in reality. She makes mistakes and she's a flawed person and it was nice to play someone who isn't always likeable um, and that was that was challenging because she's, she's not malicious in any way and it was a fine line between making sure that people still liked her but she also is the antagonist. She's a doll, like she's she's beautiful and she was very committed to this, this script. To have great actors come in and, and you know really commit to your to your work, like for me as a writer was really gratifying and, and 
you know, that, that I, I loved them for it. And she's got a wonderful energy, and she's, yeah, very, very committed to the work, which was, you know, the main thing for the, for the script. Yes. You would have to be one of the hardest working actors around right now. We almost seem to see you every month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that... The subtext, I'm going to read into the subtext of that. You're saying, slow down and, and uh, if I see you in another movie, I'm going to puke. <laughs> Joel is a blast. I mean, for anyone who knows him, he's just such a down-to-earth guy. He's hilarious. He always had the whole like crew and cast and stitches. And he's also just obviously a phenomenal talent. And he really drives this movie. And I uh, thought it was such a blessing to be around him and to witness how genius he is in his craft. And, Obviously, I mean, his work speaks for itself. He's becoming a huge movie star and everyone recognises that over in America and it's a very exciting time for him. You're a Kiwi. How did you kind of go with all those Aussies to work with? Um, well, it's pretty tough, you know, <laughs> Aussies being Aussies and, look, flies everywhere. <laughs> look at this environment. It's worse than Cambodia. Um, no, look, it, it, it is great. These guys have really done... They've been so good to me since I first met them. Um, they're super talented, they're amazing. Um, I can't speak highly enough of them and just hope to work with them again, you know, they've just, just been fantastic to me, so. Australian tourist missing for nine days from a remote Cambodian <laughs> holiday destination remains unaccounted for despite an extensive search. What was it like shooting in Cambodia and Southeast Asia? Uh, oh, look, it, it was incredible. It's, a, um, it's an amazing place, it's somewhere I've always wanted to go, so. Um, to kill two birds, to work on a great project and go somewhere that, you know, get a great trip out of it um, was fantastic. Although I say great trip, you know, we were working very hard. Um, we had a very limited time on the ground there, so we had to really pack in a lot of stuff. Um, but it was, a, it was an amazing experience. Cambodia, it was very much a guerrilla style shoot and we ran around just picking up pieces left, right and centre and we got to sort of immerse ourselves in the culture as tourists almost and um, it was really fun and carefree and I didn't really feel like work for me I was just you know on a holiday and we just so happened to have a camera following us around and we threw in a lot of unscripted scenes and um, just interacted with the locals and it, it was really wonderful. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. She's she's upset. What's happened? Nothing out. Look I... Steph. I'll be back in 10 okay? I don't want to do this anymore. People that do go to see the film will come out being, feeling like they haven't thrown their money away at another popcorn flick, you know what I mean? It's actually, it's a thoughtful film, it's well, well put together, and, um, you know, it's a bit mysterious, and there's a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a twisty ending, so um, I would definitely recommend people go and see it. I really want people to be sitting there wanting to know what happens, how is this going to end. So, you know, I want them really caught up from the, from the get-go. We really invested in the, in the characters and the relationships and, and, and tried to make them as authentic and credible as we possibly could and to explore ourselves through them, I guess. So, you know, ideally people will sit there and they'll be engaged all the way through and at the end they'll really, you know, be moved, I hope. We're really proud of this movie. I think Kieran just, you know, in a way, it kind of proved that if you write a great script and then uh, not and try not to be too flashy in executing it, then what turns out is potentially a, a great movie, and and it, it's a real testimony to all the people involved. Isabel, how much fun did you have shooting this movie? A lot of fun. And did you have a good time working with Joel Edgerton? Yeah. What do you think about Joel? He's a nice man. Did you learn a lot of acting skills from Joel? Yeah. And are you going to do some more films in the future? Yeah. Well, guys, that's it from me from the Australian premiere of Wish You Were Here. The film is an absolute nail-biter. Make sure you check it out.